In this lesson, we're going to cover the introduction of the scalars and the vectors. You may have heard these two words, scalars and vectors. Uh, maybe you have taken the classes in your school. Uh, but here we're going to cover from the basic concept of the scalars and vectors. We'll first uh, understand what is scalars and what is scalar quantities and similarly what is vector or, or vector quantities. All right. So uh, scalars. Uh, you have to learn these two things very nicely, uh, all the concept you need to get here because uh, this scalars and vectors you have to learn, you know, uh, in, in, in science you have to learn, uh, especially in physics you have to learn, you have to learn in, uh, in, in, in mathematics and further in engineering or higher level mathematics, whenever you will study, these things going to help a lot, right? So to understand this scalars and vectors, um, let me give you uh, some some example that comes in our life. Let, let's suppose if someone is asking you what is your height, all right? If someone is asking me, let's suppose this is my this is my uh, figure, this is me. And if someone is asking me, if someone is asking me, let's say this is me, and if someone is asking me, hey Anil, what's your height? Then then I will measure from the uh, from the uh, scale or or some ruler. I will measure my height from my feet to my top head and I will say oh I'm 170 centimeter I'm 170 centimeter and here while while telling my uh, height to any person suppose you ask me then if I'm telling my height then I just said 170 centimeter it's just a one value right this 170 centimeter is just a value all right it's just a just a size you know this just just the length of my you can see just the is the length of my uh, body you know from the feet to the top so scalar quantities are those quantities you know uh, which are just a magnitude which are just one size just just a size or you can say just a value just a length all right no matter how i am if you if, if you uh, if you measure me straight pretty straight i will be 170 centimeter right if, if you uh, lay me down all right like this uh, let's suppose all right this is me i'm lying and again if you measure all right if you measure me, I will get, I will be again 170 centimeter. So no matter how you are measuring, so so just one thing is here, you know, just my length is here, here just 170 centimeter is here, and nothing more than that. So such quantities which are just, you know, this all means actually magnitude, you know, this all means magnitude, and magnitude is actually a, a, a you can say a number, a real number, you know, just like see here, 170, you know, 170 is a magnitude. 170 centimeter is just a unit to measure that. So 170 is a magnitude, it's just a real number, all right? If, if, if here is, uh, suppose here is my home, and here is my school, suppose, and uh, if we measure the distance between my school and my home, then let's say this is uh, 4.5 kilometer. So this 4.5 kilometer, it, it's just a length, you know, it's just a length between this. All right, and uh, if I'm going with this way, then this is 4.5 kilometer. But there might be other routes to go to my school. Let's say this is another route to go to my school. So this may be, let's say, this may be uh, seven kilometer, maybe a little more, and there might be even more way to go to my school. Let's say this, this, this is another way to go to my school. All right. So this may be, let's say, 14 kilometer. So these all are the distances. You know, these all are the value. You know, these all are the sizes of the length that I'm covering while going from home to 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 my school all right this is 14 kilometer this path is 14 kilometer this path is 7 kilometer and this is 4.5 kilometers so these all are just a length just just the size all right someone is saying hey how much time you take to uh, to move from your home to school so i'm saying uh, uh it takes probably 45 minutes in my cycle so 45 minute here so here this 45 minute is just a, a size of the time you know so so such things which are just a magnitude magnitude is always represented by a, a real number you know it is always given by some real number such things are called scalar quantities all right and uh, example of the scalar quantities if you see like like mass like what's my mass if someone is asking what's my mass then uh, I will say my mass is 64 kg all right 64 kilograms so 64 kilogram is my mass you know however you measure me i'll be always 64 kg you know and if someone is uh, asking hey uh, uh what's your uh, what's your age if someone is asking what's your age then then i will say hey, oh i'm i'm 21 years all right so i'm 21 years 
means this this 21 is just a scalar quantity the 64 is just a scalar quantity whether i'm saying 64 kilogram or 21 years these all are just a magnitude these all are just represented by a real number so that's why these all things are scalar quantities similarly the distance i cover certain certain kilometer or certain uh, centimeter however you represent this is just a magnitude those are called scalar quantities and now what is vector quantities the vector quantities uh, are those quantities you know uh, something like uh, I'm telling you uh, suppose uh, you and me are the footballer all right you are here uh, let's say uh, you're a girl let you make a girl uh, maybe anything all right suppose you are here and uh, let's say I'm here and uh, now I need to pass the football this is the football uh, in America, I think people say this soccer ball, right? Soccer. So, but we say football. I think Europeans also say this football. Anyways, I need to pass this football with my with my leg to you. All right. Uh, I don't know how much distance it is, uh, but I'm passing you. Okay. So I'm passing you by applying my force. I'm applying my force with my feet, and then this will go to you. All right. And when I apply the force, you know, I can throw the ball anywhere in this direction, in, in this direction, 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 or maybe exactly towards you. So there are various directions. But if I'm applying the force and sending you towards you, you know, I'm covering a spatial direction in which you are. So when whenever I'm applying the force and throwing this ball towards you, then two things come. You know, suppose I applied, uh, suppose I applied 40 Newton force. Uh, that's uh, too much, I think. Anyways, suppose I applied 40 Newton force, and I I I passed you exactly in a certain uh, certain direction, so that the ball reached to you now, All right? Ball reached to you now. So this ball, you know, this football has covered a particular distance. You know, a particular distance it has covered, and in a pretty straight line it has covered, and it's a fixed direction. All right. If if you see, uh, maybe let's let's say this is this is uh, this is east. All right. This is west. All right. This is north, and this is south. So, whenever uh, in this situation, I'm let's say this angle is let's say 30 degree. So if I'm making 30 degree uh, north to east. All right. North to east. I mean by making 30 degree to the east. If I'm throwing my ball then the ball will reach to you all right so here two things is coming i applied 40 newton force uh, to reach that ball to you and i have to kick this ball with 30 degree uh, making 30 degree angle to the east direction all right so two things comes here here this is giving me the direction all right and here this 40 newton is giving me the magnitude magnitude so see here applying 40 newton force in 30 degree to the east all right so uh, 30 degree making making 30 degree with east here two things comes direction and the magnitude so such quantities which has the which has the direction as well as the magnitude are called the vector quantities all right so uh, i hope you understand what exactly this means and in the same case if you see like here uh, like here we travel from our home to school right so as as we discussed in the previous example from home to school all right so to travel from home to school to go from home to school there might be various ways you know you may go like this you may go like this there are various ways you know you can go by any ways but the shortest distance if you go this is your starting point and this is your ending point uh, where you're going to terminate your uh, your your journey so from home you move to school then there is a unique way you know a unique way which is a shortest distance between your home and your school is a special thing you know it's just a special way which has let's say this is this is now let's say as i sh told you this is the shortest distance here it is 4.5 kilometer but that time i had not uh, told you about the particular direction all right so this is 4.5 kilometer let's say this 4.5 kilometer pretty pretty straight to east you know if you see in the direction this is east right west north and south so from my home if i'm going pretty straight you know exactly towards the east 4.5 kilometers here 4.5 kilometer to the east right to the to the east to the east 
if I'm going, then I'm going to reach the school. All right. So here two things is coming. You know, one is 4.5 kilometer, which is the magnitude I'm going to travel, the distance I'm going to travel, and to the east, right? To the east is the direction. So, so magnitude, and this is direction. So. I have the direction as well as the magnitude so that is why I can say now this thing is called a vector quantity while here I just said the distance between my home and school is 4.5 kilometer I didn't say towards east towards west towards north towards south by making this angle or that angle I didn't say anything just 4.5 kilometer that's it I just said the magnitude but here while saying my distance I mean the distance between these two things I I said you the distance but I told you the direction also all right so I'm not saying only the magnitude I'm saying the direction also so that's why this is a this is a vector quantity so whenever you have a distance like here here you just have the distance you know here you just had the distance but here not only distance not only the distance you have distance plus you have direction all right so whenever you have distance and then direction we say that's displacement all right displacement all right so the displacement between my home and the school I made is 4.5 kilometer to the east. All right, to the east. You must have to say. And just if you want to say, what is the distance between your home and your school? You just say 4.5 kilometer. No matter whether it is in east or west or southeast or wherever it is, that does not matter. All right. But when it, whenever someone is saying, hey, how much uh, displacement is there between your home and your school? Then you need to say, uh, it's 4.5 kilometer to the east or to the west or whatever you have. All right. It's just an example. So such quantities are called vector quantities. If if you see the examples, uh, the vector quant uh, the scalar quantities, uh, as I told you, it's mass, you know, it's distance, you know, and uh, speed, speed, time, you know, and uh, there are many, you know, current. Uh, these these all are you know without having direction. Magnitude like like four kz is magnitude. Distance like thirty meter. That's di 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 uh, distance. Speed. And actually, let me tell you once again, you know, speed means how much distance you're covering in how much time, right? Speed is actually the distance, is actually the distance over the time, all right? So how much distance you're covering? I just said distance. I didn't say it in which direction, all right? So how much distance you're covering in how much time? That's the speed. And now the time. Uh, time and current, you might be a little confusing. Uh, you might be saying, hey, time, time has, a dist uh, has a particular direction because it moves from the past to the future. And similarly, you, you may be saying current, hey, current moves in a particular direction, like like uh, from, you can say, a higher potential to the lower potential, you can say, all right, or in a wiring, when you'll be doing, let's say, this is point A and this is point B, and it is moving through this wire, all right, you might be saying, but my friend, this time and current never follow the vector algebra rule. Later, we'll be discussing about the vector algebra rules. This time and current do not follow the vector algebra rule, like of addition, you know, commutative law, distributive law. There are many laws. Every, you know, this, to be a vector quantity, uh, everything should have to follow certain rules, vector algebra rules, they, they must have to follow. And if any quantity is not uh, satisfying the vector algebra rule, then they are not vector quantities. Similarly, this time and current, all right, are not the vector quantities. These are less color quantities because they do not follow the vector algebra rules. This, this, these things we will be discussing more later, all right. And then if you come to the vectors and if you give the examples, like here, this is displacement that we recently discussed, all right. Displacement is a vector quantity. Similarly, velocity. Now, when I'm saying velocity, it comes how much displacement I'm making. All right, how much displacement I'm making in how much time? All right, so displacement is a vector quantity. It has a direction. So definitely, this velocity is also is having direction. All right. So like similarly, you can go acceleration. All right, acceleration with direction. All right, acceleration is also a vector quantity. When 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 you change the rate of the change of velocity, you know how the velocity is changing how the velocity is changing the change in you can say velocity all right let me write it uh, how the velocity is changing you know uh, change in velocity change in velocity divided by the time taken to change that velocity so that's acceleration and there are many more examples we'll be talking later all right similarly here force you know force is also a vector quantity because you are applying force in particular direction like suppose this is a block all right and this is a let's say this is a, a table surface or something and I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this block with certain force let's say force F I applied and then it get di displaced by let's say uh, let's say 2 meter all right 
it, it get displaced by 2 meter and it reached from here to here right so now it is here so while displacing you know uh, I applied the force but it moved a pretty straight way you know whenever I'm applying force that moves in a pretty straight way you know the I'm applying force and it is turning like this it's not you know the way may be like this but the force I applied pretty straight like in uh, while play, uh, playing a snooker or carom board you may be saying hey the balls moves in a pretty curve way but uh, we apply the force but it moves in a curve way no the object is moving in curve but you are always applying force in a in a straight line you know like like if this is a ball and if you if you hit the force exactly at the center at the mid then ball will go like this but but if your force uh, the application of force is in so suppose inside of that then definitely it will go a little curvy you know just like in football we, we give the different different cuts you know banana cuts this cut and that cut you know so ball is to get uh, you know they used to swing in cricket also you know the ball get spin so that's actually the change uh, you know first when we apply the force that's in particular direction but the ball gets in different direction that's another matter all right but the force we are applying is particular straight you know it's always a straight so I hope you understand uh, what is vector quantities and scalar quantities and now let's talk a little about the representation of the vectors.